Hi everyone, and welcome. Ever wondered how to make your writing really pop? One word, intros. Think of intros like appetizers. A delicious appetizer makes you excited for the main course, right? Intros are the same for writing. They grab your reader's attention and make them want to keep reading. In this essay, we'll explore the power of effective intros. We'll also look at different techniques and examples to make your writing shine. Ready to dive in? Let's go! Why are intros so important? Well, they set the stage for what's to come. A strong intro tells your reader what to expect and why they should care. Think about a time you were hooked by a book from the very first page. That's the magic of a great intro. It draws you in and makes you eager to learn more. But how do you write an intro that captivates your reader? That's what we'll explore next. What's the most captivating intro you've ever read? And why did it resonate with you? Many readers love intros that pose a thought-provoking question or use vivid imagery. These techniques can immediately capture attention and set the tone for the rest of the piece. Imagine starting with a question that makes your reader pause and think deeply or with a vivid description that transports them to another place or time. It's all about creating an instant connection. When you engage your reader right from the start, you build a bridge that makes them want to continue reading. This connection can be emotional, intellectual, or even sensory, but it must be strong and immediate. Now, let's look at some techniques for crafting amazing intros. Start with a question. This technique is powerful because it invites the reader to think and engage with the content right away. Questions can be rhetorical or direct, but they should always be relevant to the topic at hand. This instantly engages your reader and makes them think. A well-placed question can spark curiosity and encourage the reader to seek answers within your writing. Use a surprising fact or statistic. This method works wonders because it provides immediate value and piques interest. Readers love to learn new and unexpected things, and a surprising fact can serve as a hook that draws them in. Intrigue your reader with something unexpected. When you present a fact or statistic that challenges common knowledge or offers a fresh perspective, you create a sense of wonder and curiosity. Paint a vivid picture with your words. Descriptive language can transport your reader to a different place or time, making your writing more immersive and engaging. Use sensory details to create a rich, vivid scene that your reader can easily visualize. Draw your reader in with sensory details. Share a relevant anecdote. Personal stories can create a strong emotional connection with your reader. When you share an experience that is relevant to your topic, you make your writing more relatable and engaging. Connect with your reader on a personal level. Anecdotes can humanize your writing and make complex ideas more accessible. They provide a narrative thread that readers can follow, making your content more memorable. These are just a few ideas to get you started. There are countless ways to craft an effective intro, and the best technique often depends on your audience and the purpose of your writing. The most important thing is to choose a technique that fits your writing style and the tone of your piece. Experiment with different approaches and see what resonates most with your readers. We'll dive into examples of each technique shortly, but first, take a moment to reflect on your own preferences. Think about the intros that have captivated you in the past. Which of these techniques do you find most appealing as a reader? Your personal preferences can guide you in crafting intros that not only engage your audience, but also reflect your unique voice and style. Many readers are drawn to intros that start with questions. It feels like an immediate invitation to engage deeply with the material. Let's see how this effective technique works in action. Imagine you're writing a section about the numerous benefits of learning a new language. Here's an intro using a question. Have you ever wished you could connect with people from different cultures? Learning a new language can open up a world of possibilities, allowing you to bridge cultural divides and build meaningful relationships. See how the question immediately draws you in? It makes you curious about the answer and how learning a new language can help you achieve that connection. Can you think of other ways to phrase this intro as a question while maintaining its effectiveness? Your turn to explore. That's the beauty of writing. There are so many creative ways to phrase a question. You could ask, what's the secret to unlocking a world of cultural understanding? Or even, ready to break down communication barriers and connect with people on a whole new level. The key is to experiment and find what resonates best with you 
and your intended audience. Now, let's move on to our next example. What are some other topics where starting with a question would create a strong intro? Example 2. Using a surprising fact or statistic. You're right. Starting with a question would be perfect for topics like the benefits of meditation, the mysteries of the ocean, or even the latest tech gadgets. Now, let's explore how to use a surprising fact or statistic to craft an engaging intro. Imagine you're writing a section about the importance of recycling. Here's an intro using a startling statistic. Every year, we generate enough plastic waste to circle the earth four times. The good news is that recycling plays a crucial role in reducing our environmental impact and conserving precious resources. This intro immediately grabs your attention with the shocking statistic about plastic waste. It then transitions smoothly into the main topic of recycling and its importance. How does this statistic make you feel? Does it make you more interested in learning about recycling? Using a surprising fact or statistic is a powerful way to capture your audience's attention right from the start. It not only piques their curiosity, but also sets the stage for the information you're about to present. For instance, if you're discussing the benefits of meditation, you could start with a surprising fact like, did you know that regular meditation can reduce the risk of heart disease by 30%? Or if you're delving into the mysteries of the ocean, you might say, the ocean covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface, yet we have explored less than 5% of it. And for the latest tech gadgets, you could mention, every year over 1.5 billion smartphones are sold worldwide, but only a fraction of them are recycled. These surprising facts not only grab attention, but also provide a strong foundation for your topic. They make your audience sit up and take notice, eager to learn more. When you use a surprising fact or statistic, it's important to ensure that it's relevant to your topic and adds value to your message. For example, in the case of recycling, the statistic about plastic waste highlights the urgency of the issue and sets the stage for discussing solutions. It makes the audience realize the magnitude of the problem and the importance of taking action. By starting with a surprising fact or statistic, you can create a compelling narrative that draws your audience in and keeps them engaged throughout your presentation. So the next time you're crafting an introduction, consider using a surprising fact or statistic to make a strong impact. It's a simple yet effective technique that can make your content more memorable and impactful. Remember, the goal is to capture your audience's attention and make them want to learn more about your topic. So go ahead and use that surprising fact or statistic to kick off your next presentation with a bang. Keep those questions coming. That's precisely the point. A strong statistic should evoke an emotional response, prompting readers to think, wow, I had no idea, and motivating them to learn more. Let's move on to our final example. Can you think of other surprising facts or statistics that could be used to introduce different topics? Example 3. Painting a vivid picture. Absolutely. Let's dive into how you can captivate your audience right from the start. You could use a surprising fact about the vastness of space to introduce a section on astronomy. For instance, did you know that there are more stars in the universe than grains of sand on all the Earth's beaches combined? This kind of fact immediately grabs attention and sets the stage for a fascinating exploration of the cosmos. Or, you could use a statistic about the benefits of mindfulness to hook readers on a piece about meditation techniques. For example, studies have shown that just 10 minutes of daily meditation can significantly reduce stress and improve overall well-being. The possibilities are endless when you start with a compelling fact or statistic. Now, let's explore how to craft an engaging intro by painting a vivid picture with your words. The key is to immerse your readers in a scene so vividly that they can almost see hear, and feel it themselves. Imagine you're writing a section about the beauty of a sunrise. You want your readers to experience it as if they were there with you. Here's an intro using vivid imagery. As the first rays of dawn peeked over the horizon, the sky erupted in a symphony of colors. The transformation from night to day was nothing short of magical. Golden hues danced with fiery oranges and soft pinks, painting a breathtaking masterpiece across the canvas of the morning sky. The colors seem to blend and shift, creating a dynamic and ever-changing panorama. Can you almost feel the warmth of the sun and see the vibrant colors? 
The gentle caress of the morning breeze, the soft chirping of birds waking up to a new day, and the faint smell of dew on the grass all add to the sensory experience. That's the power of vivid imagery. It transports your readers to another place in time, making them feel like they are part of the story. What other sensory details could you add to this intro to make it even more immersive? Perhaps the sound of leaves rustling in the gentle breeze, the distant hum of a waking city, or the aroma of fresh coffee brewing in the background. Each detail you add enriches the scene and deepens the reader's connection to your writing. So, next time you sit down to write, remember to paint a vivid picture with your words. Engage all the senses and transport your readers to the world you're creating. This technique not only captures attention, but also leaves a lasting impression. And there you have it, the art of painting a vivid picture in your writing. Use these tips to make your introductions more engaging and memorable. Happy writing. What are your thoughts? You could add details about the sounds of birds chirping, the cool morning air, or even the scent of dew-kissed grass. Engaging multiple senses creates a truly immersive experience for the reader. Remember the key to writing captivating intros is